Oh, uh, you've had uh, you've had some some time to, to think about it. I don't know if you've turned on the TV this morning, but the replays have been showing uh, showing your 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 night. Uh, how do you put it into words? What uh, what happened last night with with the record and and all the three pointers? Uh, I mean. I, I just feel like, you know, my teammates did a, did a great job of finding me. And uh, they always tell me to shoot the ball if I'm open. And and they look for me when I'm out there. So it's just, it's just one of those nights where my teammates were looking for me and my shot was falling. Have you ever had a night like that going back to, you know, whenever, uh, maybe before college, high school? Have you have you had a game like that from, from three-point? Uh, I had uh, my freshman year at Idaho. I had, a, I had a game similar to this. And then uh, in high school, I had a game where I hit 11 threes. So yeah, I've had a couple of these nights. We'll go to Chris Gardner, please. Chris, go ahead. Cam, first, do you prefer to be called Cam or Cameron? It doesn't matter. Either one's fine. I've heard both. OK. But tell your story on why you chose to transfer to Houston from Idaho? Uh, I chose I chose UH because uh, when I stepped foot on campus, it just felt like a family. And, you know, the love here just feels so genuine. Like, uh, I feel like uh, from the coaching staff to the players, everybody has your best interest. And uh, everybody here wants to see everybody win. And I think that was the main reason. And was it a difficult adjustment for you? Uh, I mean, yeah, this is a... Uh, uh, I'm from Seattle, so it's uh, a little ways away from home. Uh, I think, but after after I got over that, you know, it was it was you know just basketball at the end of the day. We'll go back to Joseph Duarte. Joseph, go ahead, sir. Cam, Coach Sampson was telling us a little while ago that initially the way they kind of found out about you was one of their video interns was watching some game film. I guess for an opponent that had played Idaho and that sort of, they, they, they knew you were in the transfer portal or were thinking about transferring. And that's kind of how they, they saw you. Do you, did they ever tell you that? Or do you know anything about how the coaching staff at Houston sort of, uh, you know, that you got on their radar? No, nah, I mean, I haven't really heard too much of that, uh, but uh, I mean, I'm, I'm glad, I'm glad, you know, they recruited me. <laughs> for sure. From where from where Idaho obviously is, and, and even Seattle, and that's a long way from Houston. Not not even in terms of mileage, just you know, it's sort of hard to find your way to here to play basketball. And is that is that part of it still a little surprising? <sighs> where you go from you know where you were there, and now now you're playing for the number number six team in the country. For sure. I mean, yeah, it is surprising, but I mean that just that just shows you uh, the, the type of talent that we have here. You know. Uh, on any given night, you know, you, you got guys that can go for 30. And, uh, I mean, it just shows how special this team can be. We'll go back to Chris Gardner. Chris, go ahead, sir. Cam, has it been difficult for you to bide your time and, and wait for your chance to shine? Uh, I wouldn't say it's been difficult because, uh, I mean, everybody just keeps on telling me to stay ready and, I feel like that's what I do a good job of doing is, is you know, continue to believe in my work. And, you know, whenever my opportunity comes, and, you know, I try, to, I try to make the most of it. And I, I got to ask this question, a little lighter note. Your beard game is strong, man. How, how long <laughs> have you been working on it? Uh, I'll probably say when I first got down here, I started growing it out. So probably just over a year. So how long are you going to keep it growing? Are you after James Harden or what? I don't, I don't know. That's a good question. I guess we just going to have to wait and see. Appreciate it. We'll go back to Joseph Duarte. Joseph. Cam, speak, speaking of staying ready, Coach Sampson called you a high-level gym rat. And he said that with a lot of uh, compliment in terms of how much you're in the gym. A lot of you guys are. Uh, I guess after the last couple of home games, we've noticed you guys come out after, after games, even when y'all won big. How big is that in terms of what you do to, you know, get your shots up, you know, just stay sharp. Um, I just I just try to be the first one in in the gym and one of the last ones to leave the gym every day. I mean, I feel like if I do that, uh, I mean the work the work will the work will show at some point. You know, it, it showed last night. I can't hear you. 
how early and how late have you been there? Oh, uh, I mean, I've been I've been up here early, early, uh, like nine, eight, eight or nine a.m. And then I've stayed uh, until like twelve midnight, just after games, just shooting. Do you try to get a certain number? Of, do you try to do a certain number of shots each week or each day? Uh, I mean, it depends on the day, but uh, if we if we have like an off day during the season, you know, I try to get I try to get around five hundred makes in. But you know, if it's if it's off season, you know, I'm, I'm anywhere from you know seven hundred makes to eight hundred makes. If I can sneak this last one in off of Chris, he mentioned your beard. Do you take any grief from your teammates? You, I mean, you're a sophomore, but but it makes you look older. <laughs> I mean, do you kind of have the the old the old man, uh, you know, jokes coming your way? Oh, for sure. I mean, I think it's more, you know, everybody on the team just wish to have my beard. But, uh, you know, I guess I guess good. You got you to gotta grow good hair while you got it. We'll go back to Chris Gardner. Chris? And speaking as a person who's lost that battle with hair, much love to you, young man. But um, <laughs> what's the difference between Idaho, the level of competition in Idaho in that conference, and now with Houston, the American? Oh, it's night and day. I mean, the athleticism, the speed of the game is a lot faster. You know, people people are a lot more athletic, and you know, you really you really you got shorter windows. You know, to make your move, get your shots off, and and make plays for others. So, I mean, it's really just night and day. We'll go back to Joe. In terms of in terms of your role, Cam, uh, how how much? Maybe not the mentality, but just the the changes with, you know, when Caleb left, Coach Sampson said that that opened up an opportunity for you. That When that happened, did you sort of go through it in, in your mind by yourself about, you know, here's a chance, you know, here's an opportunity to, to sort of get in there and, and finally get to show what, what you can do? Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say that's, that's really the way I looked at it. I looked at it as more of like a, a – you know, uh, uh, I'm uh, I'm supposed to be, you know, on the on the scouting reports. You know, I'm, I'm I'm most of the time the other other team's best player, and you know that gives me a chance to work on my game. And you know, we try to give these guys a good look for the game. And so, uh, you know, my teammates know know what I can do and, and know what I bring to the table. And you know, they got a lot of confidence in that. And I think Coach said that they were playing zone a lot last night against you. Is that when you see that? Did that just Kind of, does that just work perfectly for for what you were trying to do? Because even at the – I don't know if you were trying at the end, but when you got the ball, you were putting up some threes even late. Uh, I don't know if you knew that you were closing in on, on on tying the record or anything like that, but how much of what they did defensively opened up for you and, and how much were you mindful about where you were in, in the record case? Uh, I mean, I actually didn't know that, that uh, nine was the record until after the game. Uh, when people was telling me, but uh, everybody, everybody during the game was just telling me to keep on shooting, keep on shooting. Uh, they actually get mad when I pass up open shots. So, uh, you know, I just wasn't trying, you know, let, let nobody down. We'll go back to Chris Gardner. Chris, go ahead. Cam, how much has COVID impacted you, friends, family, et cetera? I'm actually the uh, fortunate I'm the only, I'm the only one in my family that's had it, and you know my my family uh, uh, is it takes it very seriously. You know, takes the necessary precautions uh, that needs to be taken. You know, wear masks. You know, stuff like that. And uh, my dad is actually thinking about getting the vaccine, so it should be good. And how much did your phone blow up after last night's performance? Oh yeah, I mean, it definitely got my phone. Definitely got a lot of attention. <laughs> We'll go back to Joseph Duarte. Joseph? Tim, we asked Justin this after the game, but when when you don't have Quentin and maybe Marcus, you know, has three points or doesn't have to do as much when you're scoring 31, what, what does that say about the team when you guys can go four or five deep or more uh, of guys that can step up and score on any given night? It just, it just shows you how deep we are. I mean <laughs> – I don't. I don't see uh, why there's any reason why you know any, anybody on our roster can't can't have a monster tonight. I mean, every everybody on our team has had have, has had their days, and uh, I mean, I just th think that speaks volumes for our team. Uh, it shows how good we can be. 
at one point, I don't know if you saw this, well, it was on a couple of the late ones, Tulane's bench and some of their players just kind of, they lifted their arms like, man, are you, are you kidding me that, you know, this guy made another one? Do you, do you think maybe right now uh, you haven't been on the radar of a lot of teams just because you, you haven't had a lot of action? Or, and do you think now the word's out, if, if people didn't know, where you, you won't be as much a surprise anymore? Oh, for sure. I mean, I mean, they uh, other teams scout us just like we scout other teams. So I'm pretty sure, you know, I'm going to be on the scout report.